everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting more of the Leagues of Rotan Hearthkin Warriors and today we are going to be painting them in the colour scheme of my custom league. This is to go with the I'm Here Champion that we've already done on the channel. So if you're painting along at home, you'll be able to use this to paint your Hearthkin Warriors. So without further ado, we're going to jump in and start painting them. They've been primed in grey sear. And the first colour we're going to be using is Pterodon Turquoise. Now we're going to be painting all four of these guys and if anything individual comes up, I'm sure we'll point it out, such as the Iron Kin head is what we'll do. But otherwise we're just going to be painting all of these at exactly the same time doing the same steps. So we're going to take this Pterodon Turquoise and we're going to start painting this over the top of their trousers and their shirts. Now if they've got a helmet, like this guy, we're also going to be painting the inner dome, which I'll point out in just a moment. Once we've done this leg, we don't want to leave it half done. Otherwise we risk getting those drying lines that we don't want on our contrast paint. And the dome that I was talking about is this area. Around here, just like this. So with that tarot on turquoise applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some black legion. I'm going to apply this to the boots, the knees and elbow pads, the gloves, the main body of the backpack and the weapon casings. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown. We're going to use this to paint in all of the remaining leather details. So this is going to be areas such as the belts, the pouches and the holsters. And so with that Saigor Brown applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Imperial Fist and we're going to apply this all over the top of all of those armor panels. We're not going to be doing the face plates of any of the helmets. Those are going to be a metallic, but we are going to be doing pretty much all of our remaining white areas. Grace here. <laughs> so with all of that Imperial Fist applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to apply this to pretty much all of the remaining details. The only thing we're not going to be applying this to is the bolt casings here in the magazine on the weapon. We're not going to be applying this to the face. Pan spectral scanner, as that is obviously going to be a flesh colour. We're not going to be applying this to the Iron King's head or dome. So, with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some flesh tear as red. I'm going to apply this to the kind of inner lining of the armour on our bareheaded hearthkin. Just 
like this. See what that done? We're then going to take some fulgurite copper. I'm going to apply this to the bolt casings on all the weapons, like that. And we're also going to apply this to the Iron Kin's head. With that fulgurite copper applied, we've only got one color left to do, and that is the flesh on this guy. He's got a bare head. And the color we're gonna be using for this is Saigal Brown. I'm just gonna grab some of that up on our brush. I'm just gonna apply this all over the top of his head and his face. We do have his beard to do. So that is another thing left to do on this guy. But it's all part of the head. <laughs> And with that done, I'm then gonna take a little bit of Black Templar. I'm gonna use this to paint in his mustache. Like that. So with that done, it is now time to add some shades to the models as we have now got all of our base coats on. And the first one we're gonna add is Drakenhof Nightshade. And we're gonna be applying this to a couple of different areas. So the first place we're gonna place this Drakenhof Nightshade is on the gun barrel. That's a little bit too much paint to have on at once. So we're gonna put this all over the gun casing. We're gonna be applying this over the top of all of the silver details. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of all the turret on turquoise areas. So that little bit of armor on the top of the head. We've got the trousers and shirts as well. Just like this. We're also gonna be applying this over the top of this black area on the backpack. Just like that. So with that done, we're then gonna take some Reichland Flesh Shade and apply this over the top of our copper areas. And for our final shade, we're going to take some Cassandora yellow. We're going to apply this over the top of all of our yellow armor. So with that done, our Hearthkin Warriors are now at what I would call War Hips to Battle ready. However, for this scheme, what we need is we need those white, well, light green stripes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that in and then they are officially at War Hips to Battle ready. Although if you are following along at home and you don't wanna do the stripes, you could just leave it here. But if you do wanna do the stripes, what we're gonna do is we are going to take some deep kin flesh and we're going to be applying this to the shoulder pads and over the top of the green dome sections. Now, a little 
nifty trick for doing this is to take some of the deepkin flesh on your brush to get a nice straight line. And what you do is you put a little dot of the color that you're doing the stripe at one end, like that. And you put another dot there as well. And then you put a dot where you want it to go. So for example, just there and just there as well. And then what you can do is you've got these kind of target points with which to draw. So you can go from the dot to the dot. Like that. Same again. Just like that. And then we're just going to block it in. We're going to leave that to dry. And then we're just going to continue on. So we're going to do the same again on the shoulders. So with that done, our dudes are looking pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do now is gonna make them look even more awesome by taking them to the next level. We're gonna do this by adding some highlights. The first one we're gonna add is Flash Gets Yellow. And we're gonna be applying this as a highlight to all the yellow armor. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Cyberite Green. We're going to use this to highlight our Pterodon Turquoise on the solid parts. So just on this kind of armoured dome. We're not going to do it on the trousers because the shaded trousers and shirt already look pretty great to me. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down rust grey. I'm going to use this to highlight our blue black area, so the bolt casing and the main body of the backpack. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight our remaining black details. It's all the kind of softer ones. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our silver details, excluding the little buttons, which we are just going to recover here. And that goes doubly for the lens. Like that. 
So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're just gonna very quickly take some fulgurite copper once again, and we're just gonna use this to highlight those bolt casings. However, what we're not gonna do is use any further fulgurite copper on the dome head of the iron kin, because it already looks fantastic the way it is. It doesn't need a highlight. After all, there is no edge. As you can see, it really looks pretty cracking. So with that done, the only thing that remains is to take some Talisar blue. And we're gonna use this on all of our little buttons, lenses, and sensors. So we're just gonna take that Talisar blue on our brush. We're gonna be very careful here. For example, just here on the visor, we're gonna add the Talisar blue. Just like that. And so with the bases complete, my first unit of Hearthkin Warriors is now finished. And as you can see, we have the Thane from the Great Ethereum League video that we did here. I've just added some yellow stripes just to tie him in. I really like having the white and yellow leading the yellow and white. I think it looks really, really cool. And I can't wait to have multiple different units looking this way. Maybe some berserks or something like that. Who knows? Oh dear. So many potential things. Really like this scheme. I'm really, really excited to see where it goes. And I hope that you are too. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.